Hey guys, what is going on? My name is Tom Orgoming and today we are back once again for another Fortnite creative build tutorial. Today, upon request, we are doing a police station. So this is going to be a more simplistic, kind of, again, modern themed build. And I want to give a quick shout out to Isaiah. And this was the individual who actually recommended that I built this. So again, if you want to leave a recommendation down in the comment section below, what I'm going to start doing is I'm going to start... I guess actually featuring the comments in the builds I do based on what inspires me uh, or who inspired me I guess I should say to actually build that specific thing. So without further ado as I said today we're doing a police station this is going to be the exterior of the building only again emphasis on the exterior only I'll be doing an interior potentially in the future so if you do want to see an interior and of course I feel like that's quite important for something like this when you're talking about like the offices, the jail cells, all that kind of fun stuff. So if you do want an interior, again, please do let me know in the comment section below and leave a like. And again, if the video gets lots of likes, then I'll, of course, understand that you guys really do indeed want an interior. So without further ado, let's get straight into listing off the items you're going to need to build this. So in terms of the prefabs itself, there's going to be eight different prefabs you're going to need. That's going to be the Castle Gallery B, Castle Tower Gallery, Clock Tower Gallery, Street Gallery A, Office Gallery, Noms Gallery, Modern House, and the Cube Gallery. So I'm going to go through each item one by one, and then we'll get straight into building. So starting off on the left side, we have this pillar here. This is from the Clock Tower Gallery. Next to this, we have this stone pillar. That is from Castle Gallery B. Next to that, we have this white pillar. This is from the Modern House Prefab. Next to this, this grey kind of brick wall, that is from the Castle Tower Gallery. This arched door is from the Modern House. This sandstone brick wall is from the Castle Tower Gallery. The brown wooden door of the same variation is from the Office Gallery. The window here, again brown wooden with the sandstone brick outline, is Office Gallery. This arched area here is from the Castle Tower gallery next to this this brick wall the little kind of gray brick wall with the red bricks on top is from the modern house this staircase here the ones that have no barriers at the side no rails handles whatever you want to call it is from the castle gallery b this wall here the chunkier one with the edge piece and also the thinner one with the edge piece are both from the clock tower gallery this little side piece of this extension we've got here is going to be from the modern house. This little bollard slash metal pole uh, to stop cars kind of hitting the building is from the street gallery A. This light grey concrete cracked floor is from the noms gallery. This greyish pavement floor is from the office gallery. This 2x2 two two squared tile floor is from the Castle Tower Gallery. Next to that, this 4x4 four four squared kind of tiled floor is from the Modern House. Next to that, this black floor and emphasis on the underside being this one here. So it's like this kind of tiled, uh, almost like roof. That is from the Noms Gallery. So once again, the Noms Gallery. In front of this, this little half extension overhang, uh, I don't really know what to call it, but like the tiled effect, exact same as the previous one we had over here, and that is from the modern house. And then the three cubes here, so blue, red, and white. Now, of course, the only core one you're going to need is blue. I'm using red and white as the flag because, of course, I've brought an American flag on this police station. If you want to change the flag up, you're more than welcome to. Please adjust the colours as necessary, but you will indeed need blue. So that is all the items you're going to need. So again, if you want to pause the video here, grab them into your inventory, place them down, get them ready. That will be great. And then we can get straight into building the tutorial. Just before I run my standard little use code gummy support a creator promo, I also want to say that this week only, or for the next week as well, so it's not this week only, it's for two weeks, if you do indeed use my support a creator code, and 
full transparency anyone else's but of course if you use mine much appreciated uh you will indeed get a free camo slash wrap on Fortnite, and that's of course the cuddle team leader all the information again i'll leave in the comment section below but if you use any support or credit code you'll get a free camo so if that's not an incentive i don't know what is and it also gives you an opportunity to support the channel and help me make videos so anyways, as I said, let's get straight into the video. Just before the video starts, I want to do a quick little plug. If you do enjoy my content and want to support the channel, please consider using my support a creator code in the Fortnite item store. That is G-U-M-M-M-Y-Y-Y. So gummy with three M's and three Y's. This applies to all purchases on the item store. It doesn't cost you anything extra and it helps me create more regular content for you guys to hopefully enjoy. So to start off, what we're going to be doing is we're going to build the front side of the uh, bottom floor so what we're going to do is we're going to grab this gray bricked uh, wall and we're going to find a nice open space so I'm going to fly right on over to here so we have a lot of area to work with what we're going to start off by doing is placing four of these so one two three four we're then going to leave a two tile gap so that's one two and then another four so one two three and four now it ends up looking something like this in this two tile gap, what we're going to do is we're actually going to go in one either side so it ends up looking like that. And the reason that's important is because otherwise there's going to be gaps once we place the stairs. So, spoiler alert, in between the gap there we're going to place two of our stairs, so that's one and two, and it ends up looking something like this. So the idea, this is kind of similar to what you see with like a lot of courthouses where you've got a big grand entrance which re uh, requires you to go up the front set of stairs into the building. It also gives us a nice basement which will work well both as like a jail area and also as a uh, car park so the kind of police cars can come in and then there'll be like a jail area. But again, we'll talk about that in an interior video. So that is the front of the first layer. In terms of the second floor, what we're going to do is we are going to grab ourselves the window of our little sandstone uh, wooden window type. And um, on the left side, we're going to place one, two. What we're then going to do is get our arched one, so this one right here, and we're going to go one to the right, so like inwards. We're then going to go one, two to the right, leave a two tile gap, go one, whoops, so you want to go one, two, and of course that's going to be a pain, isn't it? So what we'll do actually is we'll place two of the doors and we'll do that now because otherwise of course it's not going to let us place it so right next to these two here right in front of the staircase we're going to place our two doors so again this is the wooden framed variants then as I was trying to do before we're going to place one two of our lovely arched walls go one uh, kind of corner forwards and then just like we did on the other side we're going to place our two windows and it ends up looking something like this so that is essentially the first uh, I guess main floor now in these gaps either side we should have a two tile gap this is going to act as kind of a balcony and what we're going to do is we're going to grab our two by two tiles and we're going to place two on either side now this isn't actually going to be accessible but it will have a few small details so hence why it's there what we are indeed going to do is grab our smaller wall so not the big bulky one but the smaller one and in line between the first and second layer we're going to go all the way across and place a solid row of walls and we're also going to curve it inwards next to the doors like so to give us kind of this curved round effect in each corner we're also going to place a corner piece um, so go ahead and do that again it can be a bit tricky if you grab it from an angle it does occasionally make it a little bit easier so that's one and then two so as you can see that is a solid wall on the left side solid wall on the right side However, you want to make sure it doesn't link across because then that's going to obstruct your ability to actually walk up the stairs. And that is indeed not going to be uh, too too helpful. So, again, currently should look something like this. If it doesn't, please feel free to pause the video, see where things haven't gone quite to plan, and then catch up and uh, we'll be good to go. So, in terms of a few small, I guess, details... What we're going to do is we're going to grab this pillar, which is from the castle gallery, and in the front left uh, corner here, so right on the corner, and also, or sorry, front left, this side, and then front right, I guess, on this side, we're going to place one of them, and that's going to act as pillars, and on top of each one of them, we're going to place a blue cube from the cube gallery. The way we're going to do this is you want to make sure that drops are indeed off, 
and you want to make sure that grid snap is on 8 and we're going to go ahead and place one and if it doesn't place what we can do is put grid snap on 16 just to make it actually place perfectly because of course based on where you put it it might be a little bit off centered and you can see here that's kind of the issue I'm having is because we didn't place it bang on it's going to be a bit problematic but as long as it's roughly on the platform that's good to go and as you can see there that is indeed perfect so I'll raise it up a tiny bit and there we go and then exact same on the left side once again can be a little bit fiddly but once you've got it perfect as you can see right there it's really really nice and what that's going to represent is kind of the traditional blue uh, lanterns or lights that you get outside and again it just kind of reinforces the idea of police with the color blue now as you can see it's starting to get dark so i'll wrap this up pretty quickly and then we'll come back when it's a little bit lighter for now what we are going to do is quickly add a second layer to our i guess second floor so the way we're going to do this is by grabbing ourselves this sandstone wall tile and on top of the first layer we're just going to go around the exact same pattern using the solid wall variation so again it's the exact same pattern just using the same material. Now, once we've done this, what we can go ahead and do is grab ourselves this little edge piece here, and you wanna make sure you do it from this front perspective so this long beam is in front of us. Come around to the front of the building, and in this gap here, so you should have a six block or six tile gap uh, from this left point to the right point. We're gonna go ahead on the top layer, and we're gonna place one, two, three, four, five, six, of these kind of half little tiles what we're also going to do is we're going to place two directly above the door so one two and it ends up looking something like this so again that just gives the door a bit more of a defined shape and also adds a mini little roof to the front side or this front porch of the building what we're going to do from here is we're going to grab this little side piece and on the one directly above the door we want to make sure we place one on that side and then come around to the other side, you'll notice it probably won't place properly. So the way you're gonna fix this is just by rotating. And as you can see, puts an edge on it and gives it a more finished look. So that's the one above the door. Don't need to worry about anything more with that. That's uh, complete. And then we've got this one at the top, which is once again, complete for now. What we're gonna do is we're gonna grab this white pillar beam here. And either side, we're gonna place two of these in between the two walls. So we've got this wall here and this one here. Directly in front of it, we're going to go one forward, so it's actually in front, as you can see. So there's a small little gap, and then we're going to build one up. And once it actually goes on it, if I can do it, there we go. You'll see it's kind of, uh, you don't want to place that one. There we go. So you'll see it's a little beam holding up this little extra roof. It would look a lot better if there wasn't that kind of little bit of dirt in the middle, but for now, it works. We're going to repeat this on the right side. So once again, in between the two areas, so this one and this one, little gap at the back and then add a second one on top and that's going to act as a beam holding up this little roof going across the top and what it also does is kind of breaks up the front of the building a little bit makes it look a little bit more interesting so for now as you can see this is what the build should look like what i'm going to do is i'm going to pause the video now i'm going to wait for it to go daytime again so it's a bit easier for you guys to actually see what we're doing and uh, once that's done we will continue with the build okay so what we're gonna do is as I said continue now with the front side of the building so we're gonna start off once again by grabbing our small walls and we're gonna come around to the left side and we're gonna place one two come around to the corner and place one we do the exact same now on the right side so one come around to the front side one two and then once again in the corners we are gonna grab ourselves a lovely corner piece and one in the corner there and one in the corner on this side so as you can see this is kind of capping off the second uh, floor of the buildings the thing about this building is I've made the floors or at least not the bottom one but the first and second floor actually two tiles tall now you can change that if you want to but then the building is going to be five floors tall and I felt it was kind of unnecessary I thought it would just make more sense to have taller kind of ceilings and make it a bit more airy and a bit more I guess open so that is the sides 
of the front complete. Now what we're going to do is build the main sign, which has got our lovely big logo on it, stating, of course, it is a police station. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab ourselves the kind of sandstone looking wall again, and we're going to place directly above this layer here, one, two, three, four, five, and six, and we're going to add a second layer. So it's essentially a six by two rectangle. Now, as I said, this is where the main logo itself or main text is going to be. One thing I do want to kind of uh, point out is in one of the kind of parkour uh, prefabs, there is indeed text or numbers. Um, I can't remember if it is. I know it's just numbers, I guess. Uh, but you could play around with that. But I've decided to just go with actual the blue blocks again, just to go with the whole blue theme. So what we're going to do is we are going to grab ourselves the blue block and we are going to come to the left side. We're going to go roughly two blocks up, so one, two, and then we'll come to, again, roughly the third block. This is kind of experimental. It doesn't necessarily matter how precise you are with this, but you roughly want to get it in the middle, so that's the idea behind this. From here, we're going to go two and a half to the side, so one, two, and that's about half, so we'll go over to the third block and we're going to place one blue square. So again, just to recap, you can do it on eight as well, if that makes it easier for you, which it potentially could. So let's just do it on eight. So that's one, two and a half. So that's our third block here. And we're going to go up one and two. So actually, what I'll do is I'll put it right there. Okay. So from here, what we're going to do is one over. There we go. So we're going to go up one, if I can place it, two, three, four, and it ends up looking something like this. What I'm then going to do is on the top one, I'm going to go one, two to the right, down one, two, and to the left one. And that's going to give you a P. So that is the first step. So once again, just to recap, in terms of the gap between the bottom, we got about a one and a half gap. And then from side, it's about three, two and a half, roughly. So again, it doesn't necessarily matter how close it is to the edge. As long as it's roughly in the middle, uh, it works out great. So anyways, for the next letter, what we're going to do is we're going to go to the top right corner of the P. We're going to leave a half block gap. So again, you've got this little half block gap. We're going to place one, two, three, we're then going to go down, one, two, three, four, to the right, one, two, and up, one, two, and three. So again, ends up looking something like this, and that is the O. For the next step, what we're going to do is once again, leave a half block gap, place one, go down, one, two, three, four, and to the right, one, two, that's going to be your L. For the next one, start at the bottom, once again, half block gap, one, whoops, make sure it's actually against the wall, that'd be a good, a good start, so one, two, if I can grab another one, because that's being a bit tricky, three, four, five, as you can see, that is the I. Next one, once again, start at the bottom, half gap, one, two, three, four, five, and one, two to the right on the top, and one, two to the right on the bottom. So that's going to be your C. And then for the final letter, the E, we are going to leave a half block gap, once again, we're going to place one, two, three, on the left side, build up one, two, three, four, one, two, to the right, and then the middle one, you can place one like half block, like that, or you can build up a second, and that's going to be your E. So as you can see, that is what the logo should look like. Again, it's pretty much centered. You've got roughly a three block gap on that side, and this is looking more like two, 
so or two and a half so yeah we're, we're about half off so it's, it works out fine and again roughly one block at the top and one block at the bottom so that is what it ends up looking like again you can experiment with that it's a bit tricky um, but it doesn't really matter if it's 100% perfect as long as again roughly you're centered it will look fine so that is the big main logo the big giveaway as to what the building is going to be now with that said and done that is essentially the main point of the front complete all we're going to do is grab the larger wall and we're just going to place a solid row going across the top and that's going to cap off the front side and that is going to be as i said the front side of the building complete so again if you want to pause you are more than welcome to do so what we're going to do now is head around to the sides in this case we're going to head around to the left side and start making some progress there so let's head around to the left side of the build we're going to grab ourselves this gray brick wall again and we're going to place one two three four five six so again we're expanding backwards six tiles like so for the next layer we are going to grab ourselves the sandstone wall and we're going to place one we're then going to grab ourselves the windows and we're going to place one two three four and then one of the brick walls for the end and on top of this we're going to place a solid row of six walls so it ends up looking something like this so that is the left side of the building just like we did on the front side we're going to grab our smaller concrete walls and on the top layer we're going to place a solid row of our walls and in between the first and second layer we're also going to add a layer so it ends up looking something like this once again grab yourself the corners um, which I'll just grab from here seeing as we already have them so one in the top corner there one in the bottom corner there and that is the base of the left side complete now the sides are pretty plain pretty simple pretty easy to do of course we'll come to the side up here in a second for now this is the bottom left corner we're going to head around to the right side and pretty much do the exact same with two small exceptions so we start off once again by grabbing ourselves the gray brick wall we're going to place two leave two block gap and then place two more like so so we've got two two tall gap and two in this two gap we're going to grab ourselves the arched door again with the same kind of gray brick pattern and we're going to place two of them so again it goes two of the walls two of the doors and two of the walls and this is going to be the kind of side entrance for all the vehicles now for this next layer we're going to grab ourselves the sandstone wall we're going to place one we're then just like the other side going to place four of our windows and then we're going to place one of our walls on top of this place a solid layer of the little sandstone brick walls and it ends up looking something like this so again it's the exact same as the other side the only difference is it has the two uh, i guess archways or two little side doors for the vehicles just like we did on the other side we are going to place a solid row of six concrete walls the smaller ones in between the first and second layer and also on the top layer just to cap it off and we're then going to grab ourselves a corner piece again always a bit of a nightmare and whack one in that corner and one in that corner so this is what it currently looks like on this side what we're then going to do directly above the little side entrance is we're going to grab this little half uh, piece that we added on the front side we're going to place two of them directly above the door and we're then going to grab the corner edges and add one either side just to kind of finish it up so once you've done that that is the side of the building or this side complete once again we're going to work on the upper piece and for now if you want to feel free to pause okie dokie so let's head on up to this area here so we've got this main part of the building this is going to be the top floor this is going to be a rooftop so starting from here what we're going to do is we're going to grab a sandstone wall we're going to place one of the walls we're then going to grab a window we're going to place one window we're then going to grab a door which is a bit tricky there we go one door one window and then we're going to place finally one wall and it ends up looking like this so you're essentially expanding five blocks backwards now above this we are going to place 
five of the walls. So again, that is five solid walls. And on top of that, to cap it off, we're going to place a row of the larger concrete walls. Again, that's going to act as a rooftop. In the corner, we're going to grab a little corner piece and place it right about there. If I can, if I can get in the corner. Again, always a bit tricky. There we go. And this is what it ends up looking like. Now, above the door and the windows, similar to what we did here, we're going to place a row of three of these panels. And on the sides, we are going to place the edges just to cap it off. Once again, I appreciate it is getting dark. I just want to kind of get this part out of the way because then I can talk about the next stage, which is filling in parts of the roof. So that is the right side complete. The left side, luckily enough, is the exact same. So let's head around to the right side once again. Let's quickly get it done. So starting from this edge here, next to the sign, we're going to place one wall. We're then going to grab ourselves a window, a door, a window, and then a wall. Whoops. And then directly above this, we're going to place one, two, three, four, five walls, and then five of our large concrete walls. Just like before, go ahead and grab yourself the corner piece of the large concrete wall, put it in the corner, and that's going to act as, again, the edge. Go around to the front or the side, grab one of these lovely panels and place one, two, three in a row directly above the doors and windows and then grab yourselves the corner edge piece and uh, wrap it up like so. So again, solid row above the windows and doors. So right now, as you can see, if you come downwards, you've got a shape that looks like this. Now, of course, we can't ignore that there's a massive empty space here. And what we're going to do, and I'm actually going to do this off camera whilst it's uh, night time, is we're going to grab the black flooring panels and we're going to fill it in solid all the way on both sides. But as I said, I'm going to fill this in off camera. We can also do this on the top as well in the space we've already kind of enclosed. So make sure to do that. And once again, I'm going to pause the video and I'll be back once it's daytime. Okay, so as you can see, I have gone ahead and filled in both the side roofs and the main roof using our black tiled floor, as I mentioned before. Once we've got this done and out the way, we can go ahead to the rear of the building and fill that all in. Now, the beauty of the rear side is it's very plain, very simple. And of course, the main reason behind that is because buildings normally have that. Of course, no one's really going to be looking at the rear of the building. The front is the main kind of grand uh, stage and the rear is just kind of filled in solid. The other reason behind this as well is, of course, we don't want windows on every side, or especially windows of this style, because if you are going to have like gel cells in here somewhere, you don't necessarily want windows that look like this. It's not it's not quite the look we're going for. So anyways, what we're going to do is, as I said, come around to the rear side, and we're going to start off by linking the left side to right side by placing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 of our grey uh, walls. What we're then going to do is above this, place two layers of 10 of our sandstone ones, and then essentially you get the idea. <laughs> we're basically filling it in solid uh, with no windows, no detailing, nothing. It's just plain solid, just fill in all the gaps, and then all we need to do is just add the concrete walls in the appropriate locations. So in between the first and second layer is gonna be the first one. So again, a row of 10 concrete walls, of course, the smaller variety in this case. Then we come up to this layer here. So we're going to place a layer all the way across. This is where the top of the side buildings kind of finish. And then for the top of the building, where we've got the larger ones, uh, once again, we place one, two, three, four, five, and six. And in each corner, we are going to grab ourselves the corner pieces, as I guess pretty obvious at this point, and place them appropriately so that's one two and then for the smaller ones once again come around to the side if you grab it from an angle it does make it a lot more easier to place that's whoops i was about to say that's one that is definitely not one um there we go so that's one two let me get rid of this one and then we come around to the right side 
and we're going to place the two in the two remaining gaps. So once you've done that, as I said, that is the rear side of the building complete. And as mentioned before, very plain, very simple, but that is kind of intentional. So that leaves us with kind of two small things left to do. We've got the front exterior and we've got the interior. In terms of interior, I mean floors, not actually like interior design. So let's head around to the interior. We start off, we have no floors. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab ourselves the light gray concrete. So this one here and the whole first floor is going to be filled in with this. This is going to be again, if you're using it as a garage, the kind of tarmac. If you're using it as a garage slash like uh, jail area, then feel free to swap out some of the floors, of course. Uh, but for now, I'm just going to go on the assumption we're using it as nothing but a car park. So that's what we're going to be doing. And again, you can place some cars in here, not necessarily police cars, because of course, they are unfortunately not in the game as of yet. I'm sure you want to build some using the cubed blocks, uh, but I'm not going to do that personally. So you can see that is the first layer. Also, a good tip for this is just wall off this whole section here where the stairs are, just so we have a solid area. And also, um, it just means that you don't have these tiles here, different to the ones that are going to be up here. So that is the first floor complete. For the second and next floor, we are going to grab the 4x4 tiles and we are going to place it in line with the doors. So again, there is a one tile gap between the basement, the garage, uh, and then our next area, which is going to be kind of the main reception slash uh, offices, whatever you want to do with it. So this could be where your jail area is. I don't know. It's up to you. You can play around with it. Again, if you do want an interior, please let me know in the comment section below and also leave a like on the video because, again, that's how I know that you guys enjoy this and it also helps support the channel, so it's very much appreciated. It's a win-win, basically. So, as you can see, as I filled in all of that, that is going to be our floor and that's going to be the one when you walk up the stairs, you are greeted with this floor. For the next floor and the final floor, we're going to do it in line with the doors up here. So we're going to place a solid floor, once again, of our 4x4 tiles. This has become a personal favourite of mine, four floors, purely because it gives you a nice ceiling below, as you can see. Uh, the only issue is you do have the different variations in ceiling. It's not a massive issue, uh, but the way you can kind of get away with that is if you wall off the different sections and you just have side rooms, that's going to make it look a lot, lot better. So as you can see... That is that floor done. You'd also want some stairs linking this together, but once again, that'll be featured in an interior video if we do indeed do an interior video. So the idea here is you can come out, have a little look over the balcony and uh, get some fresh air, I guess, if you're working in the offices up the top. So that's the interior in terms of floors. Now in terms of the exterior, what we're going to do is grab ourselves once again our road floor and in front of these grey concrete walls, we're going to place two rows of this and we're going to do this on both the left side and the right side at the front of the building. So again, it's two rows. And in between it, in this middle area, we're gonna get this white cracked pavement floor. And in front of the stairs, we're gonna place a two by two, and that's gonna kind of act as our pavement. What we're then gonna do is grab ourselves these walls here. Uh, so it's like a two tiered wall. We're gonna place one on the left side and the right side in front of the gray uh, walls at the front and that's going to kind of give it a little side edge to the front little car park and what we're also going to do just as a small little finishing detail so we're going to grab these little pillars bollards whatever you want to call them and in between the parking area here and the pavement we can just place a few so I'll just place one two and three in a row roughly you can guess uh, where they are and you also want to make sure that they match up on the other side just so it's even. So place one, two, and then we'll just move this forwards uh, to there. So as you can see, that is the bollards or pillars on both sides. These ones need to be moved one to the side. So it's just experimenting in this case uh, as to where they go. You can see here it's very easy to mess them up as I'm uh, doing a marvellous job of doing on camera. So there we go. So again, just a small detail, but makes it look a lot, lot nicer. So once I back up, it should look like this. That is the front of the building complete. You can also wrap this kind of road texture around to the side if you want to link it up with the garages here. 
And uh, yeah, with that said and done, that is the build complete. You now have your very own police station in Fortnite creative mode. One also, a uh, little additional touch, which again I added in the thumbnail, and I guess I'll briefly uh, go over, is you can add a flagpole. And the way you're going to do that is by grabbing this pillar here from the clock tower gallery. Come to the top, middle, and go one block in and place one, two. Then you can grab whatever colours you want to make the flag. In this case, for the American flag, again, make sure you're on grid snap eight. You want to place it to the side of the top of this pole, so the blue. Uh, so again, it's rough estimate. Uh, but you want to make sure that it is in line with the top. So that will do. What we're then going to do is underneath it, we're going to place a white block to the exact same position. Again, just underneath. So it will look like that. And then underneath that, we're going to place a red block. So again, this is a bit of a variety based on what flag you want to do. So that is the first step. Then for the second part, we are going to, on the top layer, go half a block backwards, like so. And then we're going to do the exact same again, so half a block backwards again. And this kind of gives the effect that the flag is waving in the wind. Underneath the red blocks we just placed, go ahead and place white blocks. And underneath the white blocks, go ahead and place more red blocks. And once you've done that, that's going to be the flag on the top. Once again, you can replace that with any flag you want. The easier the flag, the easier it's going to be to build. And it's kind of like a little waving flag in the wind and just gives the overall theme of it being a public office building. So with that said, I'm going to wrap up the video here. Once again, thank you very much for watching. If you did enjoy, a like is very much appreciated. And if you haven't already, definitely consider subscribing to the channel with notifications on so you actually get notified every time I upload. Also, I tweet out every time on my Twitter at GoBitGames. And I also love seeing your builds. So if you want to send me builds or send me map codes, I, I'm going to get into the market of actually checking them out, reviewing them on video. So if that sounds good to you, once again, send them that way or leave them in the comment section below. Please, please, please leave your suggestions. I want to see what you guys want me to build. Of course, that's how I base what the content I do on my channel is what you guys actually want to see. And again, if you play Fortnite and uh, you use the item store in any way whatsoever, consider using my code, which is G-U-M-M-M-Y-Y-Y, so gummy, three M's, three Y's. And every time you make a purchase, I get a small, tiny, tiny little cut, but it soon adds up and it means that I can still do YouTube on a semi-regular basis. And uh, of course, if you're doing this in the weeks of Valentine's, you also get a free wrap, a free camo for your guns, vehicles, everything. So it's a win-win on both fronts. But apart from that, thank you very much for watching. Again, if you did reach this point, leave your battle pass here and your level down below. I like seeing how everyone progresses each week. And it's also a really good test as to who actually got this far in the video. Apart from that, until next time, my name has been Tom Going, and goodbye. Eyes in the sky. Gazing far into the night I raise my hand to the fire But it's no use Cause you can't stop it from shining through It's true Baby, let the light shine through If you believe it's true Baby, won't you let the light